Tell me a little bit about yourself and your background in MTEM and IoT. Sure. My name is Ron DiSerrano. Uh, I'm the CEO and founder of Bscada. Mm -hmm. So Bscada has traditionally been a Skata company where right. we started off manufacturing data, getting data from um, industrial sources. You know, it could be mining, uh, it could be transportation. Mm -hmm. And over time, the deployments of our system sort of evolved, and um, we took our platform that we were traditionally in. in very heavy industry, mm -hmm. and we move that out onto the web, and it's turning into a, a fantastic platform for uh, IoT solutions as well. well. When did you first kind of identify IoT as being a thing? You know, you know what I mean? Because you've obviously made some changes to your company to address this as a different market. When did you recognize it as being something separate? We started to see early signs of it about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. So when we did the next uh, evolution of our system, we made some changes to it to okay. intentionally to make it internet friendly, yep. uh, to have it HTML5 enabled, and to be able to host it um, off the private networks and, and out in the web. Okay, so does that, I mean, my next question was going to be, what are the differences between SCADA and IoT? Did you just summarize it there, or is there some other differences you want to discuss? Um, well, SCADA is very much hardware, right? Ah, You're interested okay. in you're interested in the data off the device. Right. Um, we, we see IoT as different is that you're also interested in the metadata. There's a lot more information that is important to people. Right, seeing the value right. of a, a sensor, is that's useful information. Yeah. But if I can see the value of the sensor and the manufacturer and when it was deployed mm -hmm. and be able to pull up a PDF document and how to maintain that thing, right, right. there's a lot more information okay. that's important and relevant um, and that people are looking for in the IoT space that they don't typically have or expect to have um, with SCADA down in the manufacturing floor. And you mentioned SCADA you know, from a hardware, you know, you look at it from a hardware point of view. What do you mean by that? Is that people are basically looking at hardware that they're buying and the software is just sort of along for the ride and then maybe the opposite for IoT or what are, what are you seeing the differences are? Well, in the SCADA world, it's mostly hardware. They're looking at... That's uh, what you're buying. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. We're talking software to programmable logic controllers mm -hmm. or software uh, to sensors directly. In the IoT space, yeah, it could be sensors, but... Um, the data that you're bringing in could also be weather data, it could be financial. Right. You might be pulling information from uh, a database. Um, you know, it's a whole mashup of, of different types of information, not just hardware or exclusively hardware. So uh, take our listeners through how BSCADA was deployed, I won't say the olden days, but you know, pre-IoT, and then how BSCADA is deployed in the, the era of IoT. How, how, what, how, how is it different? Pre-IoT, um, we dealt primarily with system integrators. Right. So they would uh, they would identify the projects, um, and they would come to us for the software. We would provide mm -hmm. it. They would do all the implementation, and we would provide them with okay. the support. Right. For the IoT space, our system is hosted. Mm -hmm. um, we will do the whole solution end-to-end -end for the customer, or we will take the software, and we will host it and give them training on the software. Okay. Um, so it's... So you're getting much closer to the customer then. Yeah, and the system integrator isn't necessarily in the picture as much. And, and what we're seeing now is we think there may be some real opportunity for a new type of system integrator that's oh. IoT savvy. Yeah, yeah. And that's something we haven't seen a lot of at the show. We've seen mm. a couple of people yeah. um, that have come by. So how would you describe that type of that new type of system integrator? What would be their attributes or their skill sets? Um, they're less industrial oriented, less worried about industrial protocols and, and, and things like that. Um, yeah. They have more knowledge about the types of sensors that are out there, mm -hmm. um, the types of applications and things that can be done with those sensors to bring value right. to the customer. Okay. They're and you're seeing some of your, your, you don't see that many in the market I now then? there needs to be more. We're seeing a few of them, but um, I think there, there's definitely room for a lot more uh, mm. companies like that. So how are legacy systems being affected by the Internet of Things? Legacy system, when it's put in place, it's, it's very expensive and very time consuming to yeah. set up. So once a SCADA system is deployed, it's typically there for 20 years. 20 years. And nobody mucks with it. Okay. Mucking with it means things break and uh, right. it's going to be a, uh, you know, a big pile of work in order to, to get them fixed and stable right. again. So people don't want to touch that. Yeah. Once it's running, yeah. don't touch it. Just right. leave it. Let it do right. its job. Dust it. And that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but what we see is a lot of companies will take our software and install it alongside those systems mm -hmm. uh, to get the you know, mobile access device, for example, mm -hmm. or to get the data out and up into the cloud where mm. maybe corporate can look at it. Um, okay. 
And so that's the bigger, yeah. that, that's really what, that's, so has that been mobile, has it been getting the data, making the data available, mobile apps, has that been the two biggest mobile drivers apps, you've been seeing? Yep. So quite often we'll get installed uh, alongside existing systems in order, in order to enable that. Okay. That capability. Now let's talk again pre-IoT and, and post, well, and IoT. What was the, is your business model the same? What's your business model then and now, or maybe it's the same? I don't know. Well, we're certainly keeping the SCADA side of the business. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, and what does that mean? You're still selling to these same older, the older integrator, system integrators absolutely. and doing it that way? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. On the IoT side, um, we have a whole separate website. Even our marketing is different. We're, yeah. we're targeting a more younger tech savvy audience. Right. In that sort of uh, an environment, um, you, the software is, is hosted okay. as opposed to being given to the system integrator and them taking it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So it's, it's moving more into a, a SaaS model. So, so us, that's how you would. As opposed to software sales the way it traditionally was. So you were selling it as a software license and then they would renew, they'd maybe have a maintenance contract, something along those lines. Exactly. Yeah. And then now you're transitioning into at least that part of your business. Is it solely a, a software as a service, you know, like a. I guess a lease, uh, well, lease. I guess it's like a lease, yeah. 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 So a renewable lease, and that includes then the support and, and anything else yep. besides that? Yeah, well, we'll do the screen design and, and uh, you know, hosting of the whole system. Okay, for them. so it includes the hosting. And yeah. is there any extra fees, you know, in terms of usage maybe or, or anything like that? Because you yeah, need to pay for the... licensing gets a little different. Yeah. In the SCADA world, you're either licensing by, you know, the number of data points quite often. Okay. Or the number of users. Um, but when you have an IoT deployment, you don't know if you're going to have, you know, a million data points right. and one user or a million users and a handful of data points. Right, so, right. Um, in that case, we're looking at licensing based off of bandwidth. Bandwidth, okay. You know, some people have a sensor that, that's updating five times a second. Some yep. have a sensor that's updating once every five hours. Right. Um, so it's strictly on a bandwidth kind of. Yep. And are you storing the data as well? Um, yeah, we store it. We, um, and it's all included or the... Yeah. Okay, yep. so if they have a big footprint, it doesn't matter, you know, the size of their footprint that they're taking in your cloud then? Yeah, the system isn't isn't okay. uh, huge. It can be installed on a single uh, laptop. And I'm talking about more with the data, though. Like, when they when they pull the data, are they storing that with you at all, or is that actually not stored stored nope, with you? No, it's stored uh, in our application. Up and okay. Up. Yep. And does it matter this, the amount of data per customer, or is it just they can store however much they want? Um, once it starts getting quite large, we're going to yeah. have to start, you know, factoring that into okay. into the pricing. But right now, it's yeah, it's it's manageable yeah. than what Hard you're drive saying. Hard drive space is pretty cheap. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Well. Um, Ron, thanks. Uh, where can our viewers find out a little bit more about Bscada and uh, your company? Uh, the company, you can go to skater.com. Mm -hmm. uh, to learn more about our IoT offerings, you can go to votplatform.com. VOT. And what yeah. does VOT stand for? Uh, virtualization of things. Uh, I like that. I like we, that. Uh, I like that. Because we create um, an information model of the things that are being monitored. So sort of like a contact in your uh, telephone. Oh. Is a... Like that's a little information model, yeah, right? right, so right virtualization right. of people right. that you care about. Right. So in our system, you'll go up and you'll define what a sensor is to you, what properties are important on it, and uh, you'll essentially virtualize, you know, um, that asset up in in our system. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. I like that. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.